Hi Bobcats! In this video, we're going to use the concept of molar mass to help us figure out the mass percent composition of a compound. Our objectives are to calculate the percent by mass of an element and uh, to calculate the mass of an element in a given sample um, by the, from the information of the total mass of the compound and the percent composition. When it comes to percent, you have seen percent in one fashion or another since elementary school. So what I'd like to do here on this slide is simply explain to you how I talk about percent and how I think of percent, because that will um, hopefully help you correlate the way I approach percents with the way that your uh, previous instructors have talked about percents. So. Here's what I think. This is the most general formula for a percent that I can write. A percent is a part divided by a whole times 100. If we're talking about a grade, the part would be the points that you earned on the assignment. The whole would be the total number of points available on the assignment. And then we multiply that by 100 to make it a percent. In chemistry, when we talk about the percent composition of a compound, um, it's understood that we mean by mass. It would be possible to count the or to calculate the percent in terms of moles or to calculate the percent in terms of volume. Um, if we do some other version of percent, we always say what it is like a volume percent or a mole percent. So if you just hear the term percent composition with no modifier, it's assumed to be mass. So um, if we're looking at the mass percent composition, and we think of it in terms of a part over a whole, the part would be the total mass of an element, just a single element, in a formula unit. Um, we'll get that by looking at the formula for the compound and grabbing the subscript on that element and multiplying the subscript times the average atomic mass in the periodic table for that element. The whole that goes down in the denominator refers to the molar mass of the compound. And so then we have a part over a whole times 100 to find the percent of an element in a compound. To find the percent by mass of carbon and ethane, we first need to figure out the formula for ethane. The ending A in E tells us that this is an alkane. The prefix F tells us that there are two carbons. So if we look at the general formula CnH2n plus 2, n is equal to 2, so this becomes C2H6. That's our formula for ethane. Uh, we're going to need the molar mass, so I will go ahead and calculate that now. To calculate the molar mass, we're going to take the subscript on carbon, which is 2, and multiply it by its mass on the periodic table, which is 12. We'll do the same thing for hydrogen. There are six of them. The mass of the hydrogen is 1. 2 times 12 is 24, plus another 6 gives us 30. So we have 30 grams, or 30 grams per mole for ethane for its molar mass. To find the percent carbon in this compound, we're going to take the mass of carbon which was indicated right here in our molar mass calculation, 2 times 12. And we're going to divide it by the molar mass, which was 30. And then to make it a percentage, we have to multiply that all times 100. Uh, in the numerator, 2 times 12 is 24, divided by 30 times 100. Uh, 24 and 30 can both be divided by 6. So this is the same thing as 4 over 5 times 100. 4 over 5 is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 times 100 makes for 80% carbon. So the, um, the compound ethane is 80% carbon by mass. To find the percent by mass of hydrogen in ethane, we can do something very similar to what we just did. Again, on that previous slide, ethane was C2H6. The molar mass of ethane was 30. And so to calculate the percent of hydrogen, we're going to take 
the mass of hydrogen in the compound? Well, there are six hydrogen atoms, and each hydrogen has a mass of one. We're going to divide that by the molar mass, which is 30, and then we'll multiply that by 100. Uh, 6 times 1 in the top is 6, and 6 will go into 35 times, so this reduces to 1 fifth times 100. 1 fifth is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 times 100 gives us 20%. Now, I bet a bunch of you already knew it was 20% without doing that calculation because you said, all right, there are two elements in ethane, carbon, and hydrogen, and I know that ethane is 80% by mass carbon, so 100 minus 80 means it's 20% hydrogen. So either way that you do the calculation, um, you should end up with 20% hydrogen. This example wants us to calculate how many grams of carbon are in a 225 gram sample of ethane. Right here, this is our whole thing. Our whole entire sample is 225 grams, and we are looking for grams of carbon. That becomes our part. So one way of doing this um, is to use the percent that we calculated in the previous problem, which was 80% carbon, um, and uh, saying that a percent is a part over a whole times 100, and we have our percentage, we have our whole, we can solve for the part. Um, this is an area, or this is a, a calculation where in face-to-face -face classes, when I ask students, how would you do this? I get about a dozen different answers for how to do this. Some people do it by ratios, um, some people do it um, by something along the lines of what I was saying with the definition of a percent. Um, the way I was taught to do a problem like this um, was you take the uh, percentage of carbon, which is 80%, and you move the decimal two times to get the decimal equivalents, which would be 0 0.80. And so again, let's go ahead and label that. That's the decimal equivalent of 80%. And you take that decimal equivalent and you multiply it by the whole thing, which is 225. And so let's see, if I take 0.8 times 225, I get 180. So out of this 225 gram sample of ethane, 180 grams of the sample are carbon. Um, again, there are so many different ways of working this, and I hate to tell you that you have to do it one way or another, um, because they are all valid ways of dealing with percents. Um, so you should do whatever percentage approach works well for you for this kind of problem. Our objectives for this lecture were to calculate the percent by mass of an element in a compound, given the compound's formula. And uh, then with that last example, we calculated the mass of an individual element out of um, the total mass of the compound and its percent composition.